Hi folks, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. I have no idea what they're looking at. Um, a rather boring scene currently. Um, a little while ago when I started downloading the data for um, the earthquakes there in Yellowstone and Old Faithful. Um, yeah, Yellowstone went off. Oh, about a half an hour ago I want to say I'll play that video for you. Um, it was a short eruption and they were looking at an area earlier um, That looked like there was a lot of dark steam um, Today just like the last video that I made about Yellowstone there was another earthquake that they're slow in reporting um, Yeah, that 4.0 that I said was probably by sawtooth. Yeah, it was They're saying it was a magnitude 3.5 and that was by Chalice, Idaho and I showed you that and it looks like there's been several other earthquakes since then in that same location so we have another earthquake that they still haven't reported you can see it here at the bottom this is Maple Creek this is the western boundary so it's probably in the Madison River area uh, this one here is Little West Thumb and at the top is the monitor the borehole 208 for Yellowstone Lake and you can see it on all four monitors so the next thing I did was check the helia plots it's not showing anywhere on any other monitors around the world sometimes uh, earthquakes around the world can affect Yellowstone but here we see Snow King and it does show up there a few seconds later uh, maybe uh, 14 41 maybe so here it is, uh, 1437 it actually came in. And it came in probably, let me show you this one here for uh, Maple Creek. Let's see. And it came in as a magnitude, I'll bring it down for you. Um, a 2.89, it could have been a little bit smaller. Let's go to the uh, spectrogram. Um, yeah, it was deep, a deep earthquake. You can see it brought up some hot steam and hot water we'll go to the western boundary there's earthquake and I'll pull it down for you um, 2.87 and it's not being reported we'll go to the spectrogram yeah there it is again you can see the line of melt up here how it kind of shook it up a little bit Today is Tuesday and it's currently 1126 a.m. as I'm making this video. So let me close these out and you can see there's some that are marked in red, meaning the computer picked up the earthquakes. Let's go to Little West Thumb. We got two here. Now for Maple Creek, you can see it's marked in red, that, that other one. So like I said, it probably happened there in the Madison River area. But we'll go to uh, Little West Thumb. Uh, we'll go to the, let's see, most recent one right there. And we'll go to the spectrogram. Again, as of I'm making this video, it's not being re um, reported. This one comes in as a magnitude 1.72. We'll go to the seismic signature again. All right, and then we got this one right here. That one's probably in the upper magma chamber. And that one comes in as a magnitude 1.89. Yeah, it looks bigger. Yeah, let's look at the signatures and compare them. Yeah, this is more of a popping and this is a slow moving earthquake. Lasted a little bit longer. Again, this one is 1.89. And this is Little West Thumb. This is that other earthquake that I first reported. All right, going through this different data, I don't see any screaming going on. Um, I do see a lot of heat where the magma, like I said before, is trying to come up. Yeah, that could be a, a sign. Let's look at the signature. Yeah, where it's trying to pop. And let's make this bigger. 
see this is all um, harmonic and volcanic tremors through there let's make that bigger yeah and this is little west thumb which is over on the western side of Yellowstone Lake let's take a look at the borehole for Yellowstone Lake now this is a very deep well under the ground it's up by the fishing bridge there at Yellowstone Lake so go going to Google Earth let's go to that location okay so this is little west thumb and um yeah yeah there's the monitor right there for a little west thumb and then up over here is the monitor which is by the fishing bridge right there borehole 208 this is where the uh, water drains out of yellowstone lake to the uh, yellowstone river all right we got a small earthquake right here oh that's the one i already reported to you let's look at the spectrogram and yeah, brought up some heat all right what's it currently showing today yeah let's take a look at the seismic signature now this is um either fault movement or tectonic movement you know the plates are constantly moving and this is what they actually call blobs of magma yeah all right let's bring it up a little bit small quake there oops went up too far all right is that the one i just had i don't know and there's a small one there let's bring it down a little bit and then i'll just move up my uh, screen here so we got all kinds of stuff that was going on earlier there at yellowstone lake now this is all universal time that it's showing and we got a small quake here it's showing marked in red and we got another one there and another one there and this is what it was showing when i pulled the files yeah all tectonic nothing to write home about looks like they're gathering for another eruption that's supposed to happen within the next 10 minutes there at old faithful so we'll try and keep an eye on it maybe we'll catch it all right here's the western boundary this is the western entrance to the park and this is what it was showing when i pulled the files let's take a look at the seismic signature yeah nothing really exciting going on which is good another earthquake there that was at 952 universal now this first one that i reported would have been at 9 37 a.m and let's see here we got another one at 9 52 universal so that would have been at 4 51 a.m and not really a lot going on which is good the calm before the storm <laughs> hope not yeah and this is what it was showing when i pulled all the data yeah we got some stuff going on there yeah again this is the western boundary i don't see any screaming um anything significant to worry about right now we do have that one marked in red right there you see where the uh, magma came up yeah a lot of heat a lot of heat the most recent earthquake that they have reported is down there in utah yeah down here by the great salt lake and yeah we got another one for smith ferry that's way up over here um 731 universal um that would have been um trying to change it around here to get the time 231 a.m and we got a little one here um that would have been yesterday a 0 0.9 and we got another one right there 
that would have been yesterday too. They're saying uh, Mount Sheridan or Sheridan, Montana, excuse me, a 0 0.4. So these other ones are not reporting yet. Yeah, make sure I got a wide enough screen to cover them all. Yeah, maybe I'll just hang around a few minutes and see if we can see Old Faithful going off. Supposed to have gone off at 11.39 and it's currently 11.42. Yeah, it went off earlier, which I showed you, um, almost right on time. But they give it a give or take 10 minutes for it to erupt. And we got a little steam coming up. Let's see if it's going to go. Nope. Well, while we're waiting for it to go off, I had noticed, oh, maybe it's going to go now. Is it? There it goes. Okay. I think, mm, yep, there it goes. Not very big, is it? Maybe it's still building. I wanted to mention the trees that are behind Old Faithful there. I noticed they're tipping. They're leaning to the left. If you want to take a look at that, but these trees over here and I don't know if they're leaning because of a uplift of the ground yeah I noticed that um, a few months ago yeah so we'll just watch it here for a few minutes and wait for it to die down yeah, it's currently 11 45 a.m. quite a few people there Yeah, they should have sound. It would be nice if they had sound so we could hear the roar of the geyser. They still have quite a bit of snow there. It is starting to melt and the grass is starting to green up a little bit um, around Old Faithful. Um, but you can see up here in the back. Yeah, and around the buildings. Yeah, there's still quite a bit of snow there. Still going off. My luck, if I went there, it would probably be a major eruption. I'd be like that one guy <laughs> in his trailer filming it as it erupted, saying, oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> that would be my luck. I'm close enough as it is. I'm about 500 miles east as the uh, crow flies from Yellowstone so if it if it did have a major eruption yeah I would definitely get ash here but it's a long story God put me here um, years before I moved here we had a C-band satellite and saw the live feed coming in from different parts of the world from the uh, news trucks and we were watching um, the snow that was occurring there or here in what um, South Dakota I'm trying to watch this and talk at the same time anyways they had this tremendous snowstorm here in South Dakota where the snow was as high as um, the roof of um, two-story buildings and <laughs> I said to my um, husband and kids who in their right mind would move there or live there well the following summer yeah I ended up moving here to South Dakota yeah, and there was a lot of major flooding when the snow did melt. They had to raise some of the roads. And the house that I bought, um, the basement was all flooded. And I met some people whose husband uh, worked for the railroad. And he brought in a railroad pump and pumped out um, all the water that was in the basement. Yeah, looks a little tinty of pink, don't it? Once in a while, you can see a little tint of pink there in um, the gases that are coming up, the steam. Yeah. Anyways, God put me here, so um, if he wants to move me, wants me to be here when it does go off, and so be it. Um, I put everything in his hand. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. 
Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.